and welcome to Studio Set Stage, a weekly podcast with us, Cynthia Mallard and Mark Dean, where we take you from the studio to the set to the stage in the world of entertainment. (laughs) Hello, welcome to Studio Set Stage. I'm Cynthia Mallard. And I'm Mark Dean. (laughs) Welcome back to Studio Set Stage. You're having a good time in the studio. I couldn't even talk, guys. Uh, (laughs) Why are you looking at me like that? It's just, I mean... um, we might have had some uh, yeah, spirits. We had some. No, we had spirits. No, 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 no yeah. spirits. Don't, 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 uh-huh. don't, don't even get no, in mind no, that you're we in are the spirit, right? no, you're, you're in uh, the spirit, right? Doing the podcast. No, I'm saying you're in the spirit. No, okay, no, you were talking about something else. No, but I wasn't. Anyway, I was anyway, talking about the spirit. Uh, like I said, our fellow <laughs> studio set stagers, uh, welcome yeah. back uh, for more info, uh, more uh, topics on kind of what we do. Yes, indeed. Um, studio set stage. <laughs> thank you guys. Um, we yeah. want to thank you for listening to us. Yes. On all of the platforms, yes. of course, Spotify, Google Play, iHeartRadio, um, iTunes, mm-hmm. and I'm missing one, uh, YouTube. And That's YouTube, right. okay. Yes. Definitely make yeah. sure you follow us on uh, YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, download, subscribe, mm-hmm. please share uh, the content. It would really help us out. And just yes. kind of the mission that we are after. And that's just helping those people uh, like you uh, in film. It could be television, music, mm-hmm. uh, whatever you do. You know, uh, we've told you this before that uh, as the weeks go on, uh, we are behind the scenes uh, working to revamp a studio set stage and just bring you more uh, more features uh, to this podcast. Yes, indeed. We're definitely expanding the platform. Mm-hmm. So a lot is in store. Um, and like I said, thanks to you guys and thanks to the feedback. You know, mm-hmm. we've definitely taken that um, into consideration. So we're definitely going to be expanding the platform. Yeah, so, so we hear you. More to come. We mm-hmm. hear you. Just because we're not mm-hmm. doing it right now, don't think that we haven't, uh, that we're not listening to uh, the, the feedback that you guys are giving us. Yes, we have taken it and you will see. Just want you to continue with, on this journey with us and just mm-hmm. come back every week, okay? Yes. So um, I know you're like, okay, so every week normally we're pretty technical. Uh, we talk about different professionals Professions and mm-hmm. kind of what what happens and yes. how it should go and things like that. But you know what we haven't done, um, and we were talking about on air. And yeah. it's just, you know, it's, I'm in a mood today. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm in a mood. Uh, a lot of times when you're in this business, uh, you can't help but be in a mood. Right, you feeling some kind of way today, Cynthia? Uh, what you, you know That's what? what it is. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm I'm actually feeling uh, some kind of way because I'm really taking out the frustration of what I'm hearing from my fellow studio set stagers. You know, a lot mm-hmm. of people right. right now are disencouraged. A lot of people are feeling down. Uh, mm-hmm. A lot of people I have talked to are like they're, they're considering like giving up. Mm-hmm. So right. you know, <clears throat> you know, energy. I, I always like to say energy is conveyed. Mm-hmm. So you you have somebody around you who's full of life and they giving you positive vibes. Most times you get the same thing. You yeah. got some people around you. You're you're taking a lot of negative. You know, it takes um takes a lot of prayer, a lot of meditation uh, to turn that negative energy around and make it positive. Yeah. And of course, you know, with this industry, it's not for the faint. Mm -hmm. Um, You're going to hear a lot of no's before you hear the yes. Yeah. And um, but that also helps to build. But you have to have the right perspective, like you said. Yeah. And um, surround yourself with as much positive energy that you can yeah. muster and be around, yeah, because got, that helps. I got, Definitely I got, a, I got a comment. Um, as someone had said, uh, it seems like, and, and this is, you guys, this, this is legit. Like I said, studio set stage is real. We're right. raw. We're in your face. Yeah. And I got a comment, and they were like, you know what? Well, you sound like um, all your time in media and acting and whatever has all been just great and hunky dory, and I'm always mm-hmm. smiling and stuff like <laughs> right. that. You know. So I was like, you know what? I'm actually going to use uh, this week just to talk about it and just kind of address it on my side. Of course, you two mm-hmm. oh, yeah. uh, in discussion and and just to say you, just to tell you no. Right. Okay, no. Okay, no, it has not uh, mm-hmm. been, as they say, hunky-dory or hasn't been all gravy yeah. uh, throughout these years, what, yeah. 20, 30 years. Right, that's in a perfect world. Yeah, yeah. Um, definitely, like you said, from your end but from my end, you know, I share the same sentiment yeah. in Basically breaking it down. No, um, like that old um, yeah. poem. Life for me hasn't been a crystal stair. Exactly. Especially when it comes to the entertainment industry. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. That's part of the journey, though. You definitely have to pay your dues. Yeah. And you have to know. Um, and there's some part no, of the process. But you know what? And, and, and honestly, sometimes, uh, sometimes you don't pay your dues. There are people out in the business right now 
who have not done or have to do what you did when you were coming through mm-hmm. and right. people in the business now who have not done any of what I did. Yeah, but I think that's what separates... Or have to do. That's what separates the, you know, but that also goes into the authenticity, you know, and those that, yeah, they might make it. They might catch that break, mm-hmm. but are they going to be there for longevity? Hmm. So sometimes it I does I, go. I, I think, I think I it goes know. back to the authenticity of. It. I don't really think That's people. How I, think it I don't does. really think people are yeah. even thinking about that right now. Yeah, like literally, I like I I, like I get I a feedback from you guys or whatever all the time, and you know what? If people are not even thinking ten years that hell, they're not even thinking five years down the line. Yeah, they're thinking about like what right, right, freaking now. And I yeah. will tell you, like I said, I I kind of like before we even cracked the mic today, I was just like, you know what? I need to talk about this mm-hmm. because like you see me putting out positive vibes because we need this. Right. We exactly. need the positive vibes uh, in this industry when it comes to television, film, whatever you do, music, uh, your song, whatever you do. Mm-hmm. You need the pop because everything now, if you look around, IG, Facebook, I mean, Twitter, everything is negative. You got people who wake up out their bed. That's the first thing that they thinking about is tearing you down. Right. I want to add on to that because, like you said, I think that's definitely important. They pissed off at you. But I also want to add on, I think, what leads and adds to that is the illusion of social media. And we kind of touched on it a yeah, little we, bit. Yeah, we, we have talked about it a little bit. Yeah. it deals with everything they want is instant. Yeah. It's instant. Overnight, with, with overnight IG is instant. Overnight and, success. And um, you know, I remember Anthony Hamilton said, "Hey man, it took me almost ten years to become an overnight success." Mm-hmm. And that's true. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. um, in this thing, like I said, you always see the end result. People want to go to one hundred, right, right, but they haven't even gotten past zero yet. Yeah, yeah. But they say zero to one hundred. Yeah. Well, first, you know, hey, um, you got to get to one before you can get. To 100. Yeah. You know, and people want to, hey, I just want to go right to 100. And you can't do that. Like I said before, I think, um, and like I said, I I really never ever, you know, really come out and talked about it like this. But I'm going to tell you, I think people, uh, one thing, I think we're too concerned about somebody else's house. Uh huh. We are so concerned about mm. what's going on in somebody else's house, mm. and I'm just, you know, mm. sometimes you gotta sit back, uh, especially mm-hmm. in this in this field of of work. Right. It's like, why are you worried about my house? Yeah. If I'm okay with my house, and mm-hmm. I'm doing well, and yeah. I'm even if, if, if I'm not doing well, mm-hmm. why are you worried about? Why are you saying, oh, they're horrible, oh, they suck, or man, they're. I, I, or whatever. I'm I'm this, I'm that. They're not. They're why do that? Why why even put that out into the atmosphere? Yeah. Well, I think we've gotten so far away where, you know, like you said, with access to certain things like social media. Mm-hmm. You know, you have some people that just mm-hmm. troll. Mm-hmm. That's the new that's the term that they yeah, use. They troll. Yeah, yeah. And um And and what is troll? Know, what 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 is a troller? A troller, What's a troller? is okay. Break down, break it down, down. No, a no, troller, no, 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 just... A troller is someone that goes on yeah. social media and all they're looking for is gossip. Mm-hmm. Nothing really, mm-hmm. you know, sound, but yeah. they're just looking to, mm-hmm. you know, oh man, this was going on. Oh, you hear about that? You hear about so and so hitting somebody over the head with a bottle? Yeah. Those kind of things that honestly, at the end of the day, yeah. has no substance. Somebody who's going on yeah. your feed, possibly. Uh, looking for stuff that they can comment about negatively. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and those that definitely, you know, they might be envious of what you're doing. Mm. You know, they might not even understand what you're doing. Right, and it's not for everybody. To Most understand. times, it, I'm, I, you and know, what, I find that it's what it is. I find that, right. that a lot yeah. of people like they don't <clears throat> understand. Yeah, they don't. Um, and instead of asking you, mm-hmm. like they just assume. Bingo. Like I don't. I, like I like we we, we are like I said. I've been in. Uh, I've done media. I've done um, acting. I've done several other professions. Mm-hmm. And it's like you know what? When I want, it's all, I, in my life. It's like when I want to know something, or I want to do something, or I'm concerned about something. I ask the person. Oh yeah. Definitely. In this day and age of social media, people just sit back. Right. And people don't. I mean, I think we've lost touch to actually know how to engage or even how to initiate that yeah, yeah. with people. Yeah. You know, um, a lot of times, you know, people just assume. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I had one individual, because mm-hmm. I teach, I had one individual come to me mm-hmm. and was like, uh, can I sign a roll or text me or whatever, <laughs> can I text you? Uh-huh. I'm like, yo, I'm right here. 
what they want this you, they want oh so they came wanna, to your class and you they want to text to... you want to text me but you're in front of me right now mm-hmm. i mean um <laughs> you had a student that actually did that yeah i did um okay but you know it's this because he age. wanted he wasn't gonna stay your whole class right or something um, yeah what, what? he didn't okay. want to stay the whole class okay. but he had an issue and i'm like well I haven't mastered telepathy yet. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, give us some time with technology and science and all that stuff. You never know. You probably will mm-hmm. um, in the next 50 to 100 years. But mm-hmm. right now, I haven't mastered that yet. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm, I consider, you know. We're, so you're trying to get over. Yeah. So you're trying to get over. You know, and so like. bottom line, you know, um, I think um, as just engaging in knowing how to like you said, just asking, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. you'd be surprised. Yeah. You'd be surprised, um, especially in this thing. And a lot of times, man, just being accountable on that tip. You know, a lot of people use, you know, um, Instagram and social media as a facade. Mm. Oh, you know? my God. And, you, yeah. and you know, you just can't talk yeah. to talk. Yeah. You got to be able to walk the walk. I mean, you, you hear that a lot. But I think uh, a lot of times it, it's flip flop now. Mm-hmm. You know, it um, it's it's I, I have never lived this life. I, you know, I, right. I want to live this particular life, uh, but I have no experience in it. But I can go on social media and make you think that I'm doing it. Oh, yeah. And they really or I, have done I it. I think they've over <laughs> mm-hmm. blown this. But, you know, in show business, they always talk about this. They say perception yeah. is 80 percent. And people have said that before. Mm-hmm. And it is. Yeah, perception. It is. it is. You know, that comes with, you know, like I said, the the status. Yeah. And, you know, saying, well, hey, I'm I'm positioned and I position myself mm-hmm. where I am an expert. Mm-hmm. But, you know, there are some things that are tried and true, like doing the work. Well, you, you actually know, doing the work you know what? and and building on that. You're talking about the perception. You know, mm-hmm. it's so interesting. And we and we we've had like this conversation like plenty of times. Yeah. It's like I have never looked at it like that. I, mm-hmm. I mean, it, it is mm-hmm. so. In- I've never, and, and maybe you know, you guys were listening, and you know, you may be like, oh, Cynthia, you know, that was your mistake, and, and maybe it was, but. I never looked at media or acting as um, some type of status thing. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Now I, I understand. I mean, it was always know, it was right. always about like, right. uh, for instance, you know, I'll tell people, you know, I, I used to be a news and public affairs director. Uh-huh. I used to be um, on air personality. Right. I've, I've done all these different uh, jobs in the industry, yeah. but each job that I that I took. It was not about, oh, let me get the status or I'm going to be at the latest club. I'm going to be, you know, with the latest celebrity, which I have interviewed countless celebrities. When I say so many, you you would mm-hmm. not believe. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it was always mm-hmm. about, OK, how can I help others? Right. Right. Whatever it was, uh, how do I make someone laugh, or mm-hmm. you know, how do I uplift someone in the community? Now that that's that's where I was coming from. Yeah, and know. and that's where the mis uh, that's where the illusion comes in. You know, people get so fixated mm-hmm. on the celebrity mm-hmm. of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and with this thing and entertainment, that mm-hmm. comes with it. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. you have to don't let that dilute mm-hmm. you being authentic to the craft and what real. you're doing exactly. and being of service. Exactly. And exactly. a lot of times that's how you build. Yeah. Actually, that's how you build. When you can look at what you do yeah. and that gift that you have. Yeah. And try to be of service to something or or be or contribute to the to the platform. Biggest picture. But you know what? Yeah, I, 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 like picture, I told you yeah. before, I told you before, and then and this is the real, I mean, uh, and, and I don't know who, who, who may be, a, you know, agree with me. Mm-hmm. Make sure you guys uh, follow us and, yes. and hit us back on, on this particular question. And, and a statement, I feel like trolls, I'm going to be honest with you, I feel like trolls are people who hate their lives. Yeah. And they wish they had a different life. Do, do, do you oh, see yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah. That's that's really what I feel. You know, mm-hmm. tro- they, they hate the mundane or whatever it is of their life. So let me just jump on here. Look at somebody else's life. Man, they balling. They doing it. Uh, they doing it the way I want to do it. Yeah. So and- why not go out and do it? Or is it the is it the I don't know, the illusion that, OK, you 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 want you you're saying to yourself, I really don't want that life. But 
you're logging on and you're trolling those people who are living the particular life that you mm-hmm. possibly want. Right. Is that and, is and, that what's going and, on? And they're basing it on what they see. But what you see isn't really what it is. That and right, that exactly. And that but what I'm saying like is, but what I'm, but what I'm saying that. is, the trolls like right. Is, is a that's, troll, what, that's what I'm explaining. Are they yeah. hating who they are? Yeah, in basically. Their life, yeah. Or what is the deal? Well, in this thing, you got to understand. Like I said, it's a celebrity of what yeah. this person is. Yeah. That overshadows mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the actual person sometimes. Yeah, of if course. they become bigger than life, of course, and we've seen that countless times. But with that troll, they live vicariously. Of course, yeah. And and what I mean is, you know, they look on. You know, they might be in a situation where, oh man, I'm robbing Peter to pay Paul. Yeah. And I'm trying to survive. Yeah. And yeah. I'm seeing this person over here, we've man. All been they seem like, oh man, they just living doing oh, it big. Man, they just exactly. Doing it big. Exactly. You know. Exactly. And so those things, and you know, like they say, you know, envy mm-hmm. is one of the seven. Daily sins. It is. You know, it but is. also. It had people robbing you. It's a misconception. <laughs> Trying to kill you. Right. All kinds you know, of stuff. And, Talk about you. You know, and but you just have to stay authentic, you know, mm. and even from the celebrities out there, mm-hmm. you know, they feel like, okay, I got to mm-hmm. project myself in this way. But even if you be you know, real, yeah. even if you're authentic, you still going to get, you still going to get the trolls. So don't, so you we're will. not, so we're not you saying will. that. You will. Right. We, you but, will. but eventually if you're real and you're authentic, right, uh, those trolls will drop off yeah. because they realize, okay, this, this is a real, this is the real deal mm-hmm. right here. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, it's almost like that old saying, cream rises to the top, mm-hmm. but with the troll, mm-hmm. I think about this, mm. misery loves company. That's true. Very true. Okay. Very true. So, Very um, true. you know, but you cannot let that deter you. Mm-hmm. You know, like you said, go, getting back to like positive, making sure you have positive energy. Yeah. You know, and no, you keep that focus of your goal. You mm-hmm. Keep that, you know, prioritize those things. Don't get caught up in all of that stuff mm-hmm. because sometimes mm-hmm. that can take you and intentionally they might do that because they see mm-hmm. and, and those that are trolling or whatever. Yeah. They'll see, okay, man, they're really close. Yeah. But they might not like you or they have, might have this perception of yeah, you. Yeah, everybody's not going to like you. Which is false right. or whatever. Exactly. And, you know, one thing that you can definitely guarantee you're going to fail at is if you're trying to please everybody. Yeah. yeah. You know, can't that, you know, you can't do that. In a perfect world, you know, mm. you know, you would want that. No, I want to please everybody. But, um, no. you know, you can't please everybody. But at the same time, don't let that affect, mm-hmm. you know, your yeah. um, ability yeah. to stay focused, yeah. keep your eyes on the prize. Yeah, I, I, I just know? like I said, we, we're having this conversation. If you're mm-hmm. just joining us, our studio set stage, Cynthia Mallet with Mark Dean. Yes, uh, we're just we're just talking about the mood today, and it's mm-hmm. basically uh, has come from a lot of the feedback that we've gotten yes. uh, from people who are who are like, uh, well, first of all, like one point is, you know, Cynthia, uh, it seems like you know everything has been all gravy and cool for mm-hmm. you, and it hasn't, right? Right. And hasn't. then of course we're mm-hmm. addressing the people who have said, you know what, people just beat me down all day, every day. Mm -hmm. People just attacking me. You know, what do I do? You know, I'm on this journey. So we're just, we're, 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 we're addressing uh, both issues. Yeah. uh, Today, if you will. Right. Right. And we want you guys to, um, you know, definitely, I mean, we don't want this conversation to end, you know, definitely reach out to us and give us your feedback because that is important mm-hmm. you know we value that we yeah. value you guys yeah and uh we just want to uh, we want you to keep going this. we want right. you to keep going you know right. but for as far as i like say if, as you have gone or, or i have gone mm-hmm. um we ain't dead so that's cool right yeah. and if you're listening yeah. to studio set stage you ain't dead either so <laughs> right. uh you got, you got you got some time you know what i'm saying you never know uh when your ending hour is so that's why i like the simplest things in life mm-hmm. make me happy yeah like i was telling you, you know i've been in this mm-hmm. business but I, I do it for the love right i do it for like the your enjoyment like I do it like to make other people uh, feel good you know yeah. or to, to to think and that's how you have to approach uh, this business mm-hmm. yeah you gotta you gotta keep that at the core because if not mm-hmm. you know it can knock you off of your course mm-hmm. you know for you to want to achieve say yeah. I want to be a successful yeah. entertainer I want to be a successful songwriter yeah you yeah. know producer um, producer yeah you know actor executive producer you know, right. man you, you you're know? gonna you know you, you're gonna make mistakes man I can I can sit here and tell you man I have made like 
I feel like I have made like 1,001 uh, mm-hmm. mistakes, right? So like when I'm posting on Media Monday, a lot of you guys are mm-hmm. following me. Uh, Media Mondays or Thesbian Thursdays, like yeah. I'm speaking from experience. Like I'm not, yeah. I'm not, I'm not talking about stuff like I, like I don't know about. So mm-hmm. I just want, want to get you, you know, get you guys straight. Like especially even on this podcast, Studio Set Stage was born out of, out of me mm-hmm. actually working in all uh, three of those. Um, Areas, those three categories. Right. So I talk about what I know, and I talk about. Uh, I mean, I talk about mostly successful, probably stories uh, to uplift people. But I'm also giving you it, you know, um, encouragement mm-hmm. and advice that I messed up on yeah. and then had to learn. Well, I agree. I agree with me. I mean, you know, with um, from the desk, you know, from the desk, Mark Dean. Yeah. You know, basically, like you said, with your Thursday Thursdays and you know your Media Mondays. You know, it's based on on experiences, mm-hmm. you know, and understanding, you know, for me, like you said, 1,001 mistakes, welcome to the club. Right, You know, right. starting out, I was as green as, you know, a forest in May. Right, You right. know, but actually going through those experiences, sometimes yeah. you have to go through the fire. You do, you, you do. You know, but, you know, with that, the experiences, you know, I try to make sure that I get that out yeah. to other expiring people behind me because if you go through that you might have and gain that expertise where you can pry the door open even know, further, wider, exactly. You know, for others to come behind you, yeah. And understanding that you know you gotta definitely endure, mm-hmm. stay the course, mm-hmm. love what you do, yeah. But you need to learn the business if you're gonna be successful in the industry. Well, every and day, and for those, and for some, for some, and let me let me finish. For some that are trying to be a great musician or yeah. a great. Rapper, you can take music lessons. You can take piano lessons. You can, if you're a rapper, you can go down to the cipher mm-hmm. and rap. Yeah. You don't have to be in the record industry. Yeah. You don't have to be in the entertainment true. industry. True. But if you're going to be in the industry, you know, those are certain fundamentals that I want to pass and I feel passionate about. Mm-hmm. And I feel that's definitely important. I don't even like that name. You I, know? Don't, I don't even yeah. like uh, oh the industry. Like, I don't like well, that quotation. It is what, but, it is, but it is what it saying, is. I know I, you don't I, like I, it. I don't like it. But it is I what it is. I don't like that word because I think I know, a lot of people who but it are. Is. But listen, listen. I think a lot of people... Um, who like they glamorize that like oh are you in the industry yeah but you yeah, know like and it's I, kind of like a it yeah, used to be like right, especially right, twenty years ago right people were using that right you know I, see what you're I just saying, think yeah. that it, it, it's not it, it's not a not that big of a deal like it's not that, that big that, of a deal that word I think um, puts a lot of different connotations like oh are you in the industry oh I'm in the industry oh he's not even in the industry yeah but like, no but but see yeah and I see what you're it's saying it's been used but those, like that but those over the years but those individuals especially. Right, but those individuals, yeah. and, and see, that's why you have to be careful yeah. and you have to do diligence yeah. to know. Yeah. Because a lot of those people that were saying those things. Yeah, still saying it. Some are saying it, but uh-huh. they they're not here anymore. They ain't even there, yeah. They're yeah. not even in the You industry. know, I just want to tell you, you know what? For real, for real. You're not going right. to like. right. Uh, we were talking about, you know, you love whatever you do, you're a gaffer, you're a costume mm-hmm. uh, designer. Yeah. Um, you're not always going to love uh, what you do. Some some days you're going to wake up. Yeah. Yeah. And you'd be like, God. Yeah. <laughs> right. God. It's going to be, man, <laughs> like, really? Like, I need this like I need a hole in my like, head. Right. Like, really? Mm-hmm. You know, right. so um, <laughs> when you hear yeah. me, you know, I've just I've just been pressing forward. I've just been pressing forward. We mm-hmm. have just been pressing yeah. like, on your side. Yeah. We have just been pressing forward. You know, uh, can I tell you how many uh, casting directors offices I have walked in and they've mm-hmm. been like, no. Right. But then yeah. uh, there are some casting directors offices I've walked in and they've been like, yes, yeah. uh, voice, you know, mm-hmm. no, no, no voice. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah. you just you, it just you have to just keep going. Yeah. And yeah, know that uh, and know that. You, yeah. You might ha- you're going to have some dark days. Oh, yeah, definitely. You it's know, gonna be some it's yeah. going to be some days where, yeah. you know, you, I've submitted, you know, music for particular projects. Mm-hmm. And it's been like, no, you know, that's yeah. just not what we're looking for. Right. However, right. you know, um, some of my successes have been with songs and, and mm-hmm. different things I had in my catalog and totally yeah. forgot about. Yeah. Did them a while back and then suddenly I get a casting I get a musical director hits me up on the email saying, Hey, you know, we heard your catalog, we heard this song, wow. we want to use it. Yeah. So it works like that. Yeah. So, I've walked away. Yeah. I mean I've walked away. Yeah. I mean, and, and and I have convinced myself because mm-hmm. 
I, I feel like at, at a, a certain point, of point in time, I was going through like a lot of challenges. Mm-hmm. Like I was yeah, like, Lord yeah. God, you know, what, <laughs> like what, I was like, Lord, what, what, the, what do you want me to do? Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. um, and I, I literally like tried to run away. And yeah. like I, you, of course, I attend church, but like like many of you guys, or I stay centered, I meditate, that type of thing. Yeah, you have to in yeah. my own space or whatever. Mm-hmm. But but I literally was like, I'm I'm about to leave this alone. I'm right. not doing this no more. I am. Out of but the game. See, you know what is like you said with that, it's always and for me, it's always been when I've gotten to that point yeah. where I wanted to just yeah. throw in the towel. Yeah. Yeah. That that you an opportunity came. Yeah, but see that didn't happen to me. See, I actually it, quit. It, for I me, actually quit. So me, I mean I'm be honest I'm with you. Lie. I, I've actually quit but, but though, uh, in but the past. I'm saying though that but that's <laughs> evidence. Times. That's that's I just evidence like. of yeah. what I talk about and what I've been saying yeah, yeah. is you have to stay the course. Yeah. Because it might be at that point and um I think I remember the pastor he was talking about that too. It's at that point mm-hmm. when you feel, mm-hmm. okay man, I'm ready to throw in the towel. Mm-hmm. But actually that journey has prepared you for the next the chapter. That's right, exactly. And that opportunity will reveal and will bring the next chapter. Exactly. You know? Well, like I said, right. I, I feel like um, some of you may be at this point where you're like, oh, I'm done, I'm quitting mm-hmm. or whatever. And yeah. I, I, I'm with you because like I said earlier, I, I've done it, right? right. But right. the thing yeah. about it is, you have to know it's for you. When it just right. finds you and then you just wake up and you just find yourself right back in the same uh, profession or helping people uh, in the same genre, you're like, God. and, and that, that's been my story. Right. Like I literally like, okay, I'm gone. I'm about to go from here. And, you know, next thing I know, I wake up and I'm, I'm like doing right. the same thing over. I'm working for a corporate See, you know media I, company. Yeah. And I work for a lot of them. And, mm-hmm. and it hasn't yeah. been like, oh, I pulled my teeth out or cut my leg off. <laughs> it was just like the door was waiting for me because yeah. It was just my door to walk in. Yeah, exactly. And, <laughs> and you know, I mean, there's purpose behind everything. Mm. And everything happens for a reason. But, you know, Ascent, when you were saying that, mm. I thought about this scene in a movie. Yeah. Godfather 3, mm. where, um, you know, um, Michael Corleone, he was like, man, I thought I was out. But they pulled me back in. <laughs> man, what you and, talking about? And, you know, about? like what I you said, and, <laughs> and uh, that's what I was saying, man. It felt like yeah. when times, and uh, not too long ago, I felt like, you know what? Yeah. I mean... I've been doing some things, but you know, yeah. it's kind of pacing. Maybe I need to pump the brakes. Yeah. And then an opportunity just Things that are for you, come. they're, they're, yeah. they're, they're going to yeah. find you. So you I don't, I don't yeah. care if, if you're like the housewife, like you're the mm-hmm. mom on the, on the <laughs> couch. Maybe you're sitting down watching daytime TV and you wish you were like a, um, I don't know, a studio director. Like literally, um, it will come to you. Like it will worry you so much mm-hmm. that you will have to get up and just do something, yeah. right? Yeah. And so, and, 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 you, and you're right. Yeah. And, nag you, and you cannot, you. That's, that's a great word, mm, nag. But, and you cannot be worried <laughs> about what people think or right. how they feel feel about you they like oh you know she tried this and she failed at this or he tried this and he failed. Mm-hmm. it's okay because it's right. most successful billionaire entrepreneurs will tell you mm-hmm. they failed a thousand times oh, yeah. a yeah. thousand times yeah. before they actually were redirected and I always call this redirected where God redirected them onto the path they needed to be you know mm-hmm. all those failures were like just trial mm-hmm. yeah trial and error yeah. And then eventually you get to where you're supposed to be. So yeah. even if you went to school for something, uh, say, totally different. Right. Mm-hmm. But in the back of your mind, you know, you supposed to be doing something else. Right. Start taking the steps. Yeah. You definitely got to take the steps and know that, like you said, nothing, mm-hmm. you know, is accident. Yeah. You know, you got to know there's a purpose behind it. You're getting the inklings yeah. for a reason. You're getting the inkling, you get right? the inkling. You mm-hmm. find yourself uh, at the producer's uh, mixer every every month and people are allowing you to mix on their boards and stuff just haphazardly. <laughs> you need, and, and you coming up with stuff, but yet you got a degree in finance and you working on Wall Street. Like, you, you got to, you have to listen to those other things that are happening organically. Right. And, and understand yeah. that life is short. Yeah. And one thing that time does it doesn't stop mm-hmm. um, it keeps moving forward so um, I will say you um, you know and in those clues like time you have mm-hmm. to move forward you and do. you have to continue you um, and and know that you're getting those clues and you're getting that gut that instinct those looks all that for yeah. a reason yeah exactly you know? and um, you know you, um, I think like when you're born you're already mm-hmm. inundated with a certain gift and a certain skill it's true but it's true. Um, a lot of times we get redirected in translation your parents tell you you can't make no more 
what money you got to do. Or something. Uh, you know, you're trying, like you said, you're looking at someone else <laughs> exactly. and their success. And then you're like, oh, I could do that. Right. Yeah, exactly. And what worked for them doesn't work for you. Might not work for you. Mm-mm. But Mm-mm. you have to figure it out. No life is short. And, yeah. you know, man, it, it's just be, it would just be totally miserable mm. to live your life and living as somebody short else's as life. it is and you not living your life your life you 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 worry about you not living, living your best else. life <laughs> right living your best life right, we always talking about right. best life mm-hmm. live, like live your life right don't you be worried about life. uh someone else's life and you know right. what uh support mm-hmm. support support yeah. each other right? right um i think uh mm-hmm. like i said some of the the dms i've had some of the feedback like a lot of people don't like to live well, this is what i've learned People who for real, for real about this business, mm-hmm. like they don't like to leave like public, uh, public messages like on our pages. And I get that. I get mm-hmm. that. You want it to mm-hmm. be more private. Right. Uh, you don't want people to know kind of like what you're struggling with. Um, yeah. and, and, and I can understand that. Like I said, mm-hmm. we all are struggling uh, with something. Right. But um, always. You, yeah. Yeah. You got to support. You right. know, you need to support. Support somebody else. Let them support you, you yeah. know, and be open. And that's what it's about, you know. And this thing is a collaborative mm-hmm. effort. And, um, you know, um, if you want, like, if you want somebody to follow you and follow yeah. what you're doing, yeah. follow that person, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, and yeah. that's one of the things that you have to do. Know that um, mm-hmm. no man can be an island. So basically, an island. so basically, an answer to all y'all who, who like, oh, you're always smiling. Mm-hmm. You seem like it's just great in your world and everything that you've done is is great, great, great. No, it, no, it has not been. No. No, it has not been. I've had some pitfalls. Right. And I've had some pitfalls that you would not even believe oh, yeah. that I feel like the universe, that I feel like God... Um, bought me out of Look, like it couldn't have been nobody else we could trade war stories Man, and actually all day, all day. that could be for show. each episode <laughs> for a whole nother season can i tell you this. how many right. people <laughs> i have had arguments with in a particular uh radio stations it, it's been like at mm-hmm. least three uh, oh, yeah. where, I, where people have been dragging a you know computer or dragging cords behind them like i I've been in no situation, so that's 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 some stories for another time. Right, exactly, right? exactly. Like I said, man, my first. <laughs> but I was left standing. But I was you know, left standing. Right, you know? I was left standing. Right, so. and being signed, like I said, you're gonna have you're gonna hear a lot of no's before you hear a lot of yeses. Yeah. You know, my first deal was yeah. shelved. Yeah. You know, yeah. didn't yeah. even see the light of day before yeah. you know it could come out. But yeah. you know, you learn from those things and you understand the importance. Of staying the course. It hurts. It hurts, though. Oh, man. It hurts. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, I, I can sit here, and I know you can, too, on some of, like, the different failures. Or, or, or mm-hmm. people would call it failures, uh, but they're, like, stepping stones. Is what right. We, what we exactly. go, we're not going to call them failures. We're going to call them stepping stones. Right. Um, Remember, that setback, you. that setback it can be a you. setup it helped you. to success. Oh, my God. Remember, the setback can mm-hmm. be a setup mm-hmm. to success. Yeah. It yeah. might seem like a setback, yeah. but... When you think about it, and you know, they say hindsight is twenty twenty. Uh-huh. But when you look at that setback and you stay the course, watch where you'll be. Exactly. You'll yeah. be actually beyond you will. where you thought that particular opportunity or whatever, it didn't go well. But you actually, man, wait a minute. I'm actually ahead of where that opportunity probably would have placed me. So we say all yeah. that to say, you know, we want more for a Studio Set Stage mm-hmm. podcast, right? I yes. am so happy. Uh, I hope that kind of cleared up a little bit for you guys who right. have uh, direct messaged me. Um, I'm just hoping to, hoping, like I said, to uplift you or whatever, yep. you know? So uh, mm-hmm. always catch me on IG at Cynthia Mallard World. Yeah, catch me on IG at Mark Dean Music mm-hmm. from the... That's of Mark Dean. Mm-hmm, um, definitely mm-hmm. appreciate the love. Yeah. And uh, reach out to us. You know, you can find us on Spotify. Yep, yep. Google Wherever Play, you get your podcasts. What else? Radio. YouTube. Don't forget, subscribe, yeah. guys. Mm-hmm. Subscribe. Uh, leave yes. comments. And definitely, like, share all the information. Like I said, we have a, uh, from the desk of Mark Dean, we also have uh, Media Mondays. Mm-hmm. I address a little bit of my media experience as well as Thesbian Thursdays. But if you have yes. some questions uh, you want us to, to answer, um, just kind of throughout the week. Uh, we can mm-hmm. do that too. We ain't got to yeah. wait to. We ain't got to wait until like our podcast day, which is every Friday. Mm-hmm. Every uh, don't Friday, forget right? every Friday yeah. uh, we are here. And uh, as we've been talking about for months now, our online store, guys, we are working uh, to launch that. If you go it's on, if you log, soon. you log on right now, studiosetstage.com, yes. mm-hmm. uh, you will see uh, the store blanket. The, right. um, you'll see that where it's launching. So definitely listen, sign up. That's what we want to tell you. Sign up for our yes. online store. 
your uh, we appreciate your support. So if you log on to studiosetstage.com, um, sign up, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, purchase one of our items that supports uh, what you do, what we do, right? Right. Right, definitely. It only makes the picture bigger and better for right. everyone in this business. Right. Subscribe. And, you know, for those that subscribe, we got some goodies. We got some goodies for you. So just um, continue to reach out to us. Feedback is very important. Mm-hmm. Again, I'm Mark Dean. All right. I'm Cynthia Mel. This has been Studio Set Stage. Catch you next week. Take care.